Good to see you again. Today, let's chat about the art of politic making. The little Hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Today, I would like to chat with you about the art of politic making, politicalization making. I want to talk to you political making. Politics? Today, let's chat about the making of politics or Political life. It's a better politic? We shall take the heads of the falsely entitled leadership of the Democratic Republican Party. Hello. So, what good does it do to spend decades of political life decades of electoral politics on a pendulum. Because that's what we have in the U.S. We have a duopoly, right? Two parties that pretend to fight. Sometimes they do actually fight over cultural things, as in the culture war. Most of the time, though, they realize they have the power and they want to keep everyone either, right? Blue team, red team. That's a pendulum. That's a pendulum. You can't get anything beyond the swing of the pendulum within a pendulum. You can't do it. And for decades, you can see people who wanted to make things better, wanted to th make things more equitable, more inclusive, and they are always stymied because electorally, they try to stay within this duopoly. And that has clearly failed every time there's some enemy on the other side that ha just has to be defeated because they're evil. 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 Oh, we... This time, on Team Red, there's Donald Trump. Clearly a douchebag. Clearly an asshole. Clearly a con man. Very few people really like him, but he's there. And before him, it was some other terrible evil Republican that had to be defeated no matter what. And on the blue team, you always get that same attitude of blue no matter who. You don't actually get the person as nominee that you wanted. And really, your primary vote almost counts for nothing. Because the primary is decided by the falsely entitled leadership of the so-called Democratic Party. They choose who the nominee is. Even if you think you vote in a primary, I think from the last two times at the very least, right, 2020 and 2016, we can see that that is untrue. I would say going all the way back to 2000, two decades ago, you could have seen that that was untrue. <clears throat> As I was saying, I would like to speak with you about the political duopoly in the United States. Sorry, I thought for a second I might be shot or tackled or disappeared disappeared it doesn't make sense to continue to do that you're just swinging back and forth on a pendulum that will never change <laughs> you can't do it that way the democratic the so-called democratic party we didn't even really get the strongest most interesting candidate who had the the most potential to do something new and different we did not get bernie sanders Not because he truly lost the primary, but because falsely entitled 
leadership of the Democratic Party did everything they could, pulled every dirty trick, found every loophole, not heart, but loophole, that they could find to keep Bernie Sanders from being the nominee. And arguably, he, he's not even the most interesting person out there or the strongest lefty out there. And yet we couldn't even get him. And now people on the Team Blue just blindly want to follow Biden because they think Trump is so evil. Both of them are bad. <laughs> Neither, neither you can pick apart the little things that makes one worse than the other or culturally how Biden might be slightly better because he's slightly less obnoxious or he, he likes a, a culture aspect or a social aspect that you do. Those are like flavor differences. He clearly is not going to do the things that most people that consider themselves a part of the left want. You're not going to push Biden and the, the so-called elites of the Democratic Party to the left. They don't have to because one, all, most of you people are just willing to give them your vote every single time, no matter what. If you do that, if you continue to always give them your vote, no matter how bad the candidate is, or how bad their policies are, or how unlikely they are to actually do something that would benefit you, you keep giving them your vote, they have no reason to do anything for you. Right? There's no pressure there for them to actually follow through because even when they give you someone like Joe Biden, you all are just going to jump on the bandwagon and vote for him simply because you fear Trump so much. Neither of those fucking so-called fucking elite leadership parts of the duopoly, whether they're blue or red, they are all corrupted. None of them truly represents or works for you for us. You have to at some point realize the power you have in voting is to withhold your vote, right? When they do not even come close to doing what we've asked them to do. When they don't do that, you can't then just go along with it. That's the fucking pendulum, right? It's a broken, it's not even a broken machine. It's a machine, a system that's designed to do something other than what you want it to do. The only way to fix that is to get rid of that system, get rid of that machine, and make something that will actually be designed and built to produce the thing you want it to produce. Not what some tiny minority of falsely entitled uh, control figures, rich corporate people want. You can't vote that away just by simply voting blue because the blue guy sounds slightly more liberal or slightly better. It, it does not work. We've seen that decade after decade. At some point, you have to stop participating in the duopoly. You can't vote within that system and work within that system to make it different. It does not work. So withholding your vote or giving your vote to someone outside of the duopoly, that is the only way. If we could all come together around a different party and different candidates that actually have the policies and talk about the things we want and have done the actions, right, the actionable things that we need them to do, or at least, very least, have tried to do. People now talk about a Green New Deal. Guess what? People in the Green Party, right, the U.S. Green Party, were talking about a Green New Deal in 2016. They were talking about it prior to that, go back to 2000, and you can see that the Green Party more closely represents what most people on the left really need and want. This is a class struggle. It's not something else. It's about class. There's a small controlling class, sometimes called the 1%, and then there's their corporate class that supports them. It's this small fucking tip of the pyramid against all of us. That's what we have to come together around. Class and the fact that a very small number of people are pissing on our heads every day. And you, most of you will then just turn around and vote for Biden because he's not Trump. Get outside of it. You can't 
you won't get something better from Biden. It'll be slightly better. You might feel better about yourself, but you will not get the changes. It, he will not impact things that need to be changed for class purpose. The only thing that will do that is, is, is actual organization offline in the real world, not the fucking internet, as I talk to you on the fucking internet. Direct action and voting outside the duopoly. That's what we have to do. And that is my filmmaking chat for today. The art of fucking up the duopoly. About the duopoly. Thank you. I will now be disappeared and sent to uh, Brazil or somewhere, which is probably much better. Uh, I meant to do that. Fuck Joe Biden. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck the duopoly.